Good Friday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast, and we have got a lot to talk about for today. Not much going on specifically for Friday, but as we go into the rest of the forecast heading into the weekend, this is where we could see, again, the potential for some stronger weather heading back our direction. Now, again, Friday, not so much of a problem, so if you've got outdoor plans, Best possibility will be today and a slight window into very early tomorrow, but that's going to be about it. After that, we start to see better chances of rain and thunderstorms and the possibility of stronger weather heading our direction. We'll show you the potential of that coming up here in just a little while, so stay tuned for more there. If you're just joining us and have never been here before, welcome to our exclusive video weather blog. We'll give you, again, a round look at what goes on across the Mid-South area and beyond. If you can't stick around for the whole netcast, that's cool. Take a look at the forecast in the lower blue bar scrolling past down this direction, or you can go to wrhe.com slash weather for more information about your complete forecast for the rest of the day today. Tim and Jim will have more on your forecast coming up here in, again, the rest of the day today. So, again, we'll give you more details on what we're talking about uh, where it comes to, again, the forecast throughout the rest of the day today for right now. Rest of the day, again, showing some temperatures back into around the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s for today. We'll continue, again, to see the possibility of cloud cover out there for right now. But most of what we're looking at for right now is going to be uh, the possibility of some more areas of just cloud cover out there, and that's really going to be about it. We're not looking at too much of anything else in the way of problems for today. Matter of fact, no rainfall expected for the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day for right now. Rest of the morning, got some patchy fog out there from the Weather Underground webcam network showing again temperatures back into the uh, mid to upper 50s so just liquid amounts of moisture out there nothing frozen so good news on that but again some fog could be a bit of a problem out there currently in oxford mississippi from the crosby hall construction cam mid 50s looking back toward the student union a little bit foggy out there for this morning earlier on but it appears to be kind of lessening by just a little bit. Jeffrey Griffiths in Walls Foggy 55, thank you very much uh, for that weather report. If you got weather conditions out there, drop them into the comments section. We'll share some of those weather reports that you give uh, in and around the area, and we'll see what yours look like compared to everyone else's, including West Memphis, Arkansas, downtown Memphis back on the horizon, and seeing 56 degrees uh, at the airport at this time. Winds are calm for the most part, kind of light and high humidity with decently cool temperatures. That's a very good recipe for fog, and that's exactly what we've got across much of the Mid-South. You're looking around Poplar and 240, back toward Ridgeway, and this is the view from our 240 and Poplar, our Hilton East Memphis camera. Ridgeway traffic to Poplar heading westbound, again, moving along pretty well here, but very low visibility across portions of the area. Now, it is starting to improve by just a little bit, but we will see, again, some slow conditions out there as we go throughout the rest of about the next hour or so because visibilities remain about a mile or so, give or take. It's a lot better than what it was about an hour ago. But once again, we've got some problems out there with fog continuing into the area, which is why the National Weather Service has issued and extended this dense fog advisory until 10 o'clock this morning for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area, including the Memphis metro area. We'll be seeing again some possibility of that fog lingering around. But once the sun breaks through, stirs up the atmosphere, we should be able to get rid of most of that uh, fog and cloud cover out there. Most, not all of it, though. So not seeing a totally sunny day coming up uh, at this point in time. Patty Stacks from Millington, foggy report there. Thank you very much. Uh, Cody Jones, when will it stop raining every single weekend? Uh, hear that complaint a lot and definitely sympathize. We'll be going into the uh, next several weeks. The doldrums of summer coming up. We'll be getting into some drier weather there. We've hit kind of a rough patch where the rain and thunder are concerned out there. But we'll be seeing, again, less chances of rain over the next several weeks as we go closer to summertime. So definitely uh, feel your pain out there for those of you who are done with the rainfall, hopefully getting rid of most of that coming up relatively soon. And throughout the area this morning, Storm Tracker 3S radar, complete and total clean sweep. So no need for anything involving uh, precipitation protection. Now, if you're heading down to the Gulf Coast, toward Atlanta, mid-Atlantic states, 
east of Knoxville. You're going to be running into more showers there, more thunderstorms down possible toward the Gulf Coast area, and that's going to be the main extent for rainfall today. All this leaving the Mid-South, not a threat for us, but back to the west, this big bunch of clouds heading on through here, big dip in the jet stream. That's our next storm system over the west coast. That's going to be heading our way and moving through the area as we get into this weekend. Now, temperatures again pretty mild right now, mid to upper 50, so not seeing a problem out there for right now at this time. 55, Jack Low, Covington, overcast, no fog. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Judy G. Hickerson, foggy in Eastview. Thank you very much for that one. John Nelson, hoping it doesn't get too bad this weekend. Likewise, I never root for severe weather. Uh, again, this is going to be possibly a dangerous weekend coming up where it comes to weather. We'll see how things shake out, but uh, definitely want to make certain you're ready to get to safety just to be on the safe side. Early part of the forecast through the rest of this morning into this afternoon. Now, because there's not a lot of moisture out here, the computer throws in a few speckles of rain kind of just as a coverall possibility. I'm not seeing anything in the way of rainfall. I think this computer model is getting a little over eager when it comes to anything involving rainfall, and that'll be gone by later on tonight, just a few clouds left over. Highs today in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Hopefully should start off tomorrow morning partly cloudy, hopefully getting a little bit of sunrise in there but going to be difficult to see everybody with that. And a few 40s around Dyersburg and northwest Tennessee. Rest of the area should stay comfortably back into the 50s, probably the lower 50s as well. Now, early on Saturday, again, pre-lunchtime, not a lot happening just yet. Showers down from Oxford to Batesville to Clarksdale, down toward Water Valley, Bruce, Columbus, picking up some showers early. Then the possibility of rainfall really starts to expand into the area as we go toward dinner time and 10 o'clock Sunday, Saturday night. Sunday morning, again, chances of showers and thunderstorms around and about, sticking around with showers and thunderstorms through Sunday early afternoon and right on in through about dinner time, but lessening a little bit until we pick up even more rainfall coming on through as we go toward Monday morning. So commute time Monday could be a sloppy mess, and there still could be the potential of maybe some stronger weather out there as we go toward early Monday. So this is going to be a multi-day situation that we really need to watch out for, and things could change over the next couple of days. Now, this forecast, again, was updated just a little while ago. They can be several hours in the making. No severe weather risk for today. For tomorrow, the severe weather threat starts out west and then moves our direction throughout the rest of the day right on in through the, set, the afternoon and evening hours. That slight risk category is not exactly a severe weather outbreak, but it does mean there is a possibility of severe weather. And again, mostly for the western parts of the viewing area through Saturday night. So earlier and later on Saturday is when we're going to be expecting stuff to move our direction. Now on Sunday, the temperatures are going to be much more mild. We're going to be looking again at a very conducive atmosphere for the development of severe weather, and that includes a very big swath of the south central United States. Memphis in the mid-south area, smack in the middle of that. Now again, we remain at a slight risk category, but that could change. The Storm Prediction Center that issues these maps says there is a good possibility we may need to change this forecast to maybe a higher risk level, like enhanced or something else, depending on how bad they think it's going to get. Now, so far, it's staying slight. That in itself is some good news because, again, we don't want it to go any farther than that, but there still is that threat of severe weather out there. So this is something that we need to pay attention to, and this can change out there. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Most of what we're going to be looking at, again, the main threats out of this are going to be damaging winds, large hail, could be some flash flooding, and isolated tornadoes out there. Timing is going to be west of the river Saturday afternoon and evening, and then moving across all of the News Channel 3 viewing area as we go from Sunday into Monday. This is going to be, again, a multi-day situation, so you're going to need to make certain you have a good way to stay informed. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, and to make certain you can alter your plans so you can stay safe. This is critical when we're dealing with a very large severe weather situation like this. Very mild today, running the numbers into the rest of the day. 
lower 70s for highs. Should not be any rainfall out there today, but we will be looking for increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms starting in the afternoon and evening and then going into Sunday. Temperatures remain pretty stable in the mid-70s. Showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Sunday. So again, there's going to be that window of a little bit of time on Saturday where you might get some stuff done early in the morning before the rest of the weekend and right on into Monday. It looks pretty soggy out there. Monday morning, again, could be a bit of a mess for the commuters out there. So stay tuned for Corey Ventura's Time Saver Traffic, and we'll keep you advised on what's going on out there. Oh, thank you very much out there. Bre breakfast has arrived, it looks like, here at News Channel 3. Showers will be left over by about Tuesday or so, and then with more sunshine, we should be popping up to around 80 degrees on Wednesday. Unfortunately, and again, more chances of showers coming our way as we go into next weekend, which means we could cool off a little bit. But in this situation, cool means the upper 60s for highs to the lower 50s for lows. Not anything to show anything to get for right now uh, in the way of frosty conditions out across much of the Mid-South. Overcast in Atoka, Christine Rivers. Uh, thank you very much for that weather report out there. And also, again, for the area for right now, glad to see with everybody checking in uh, from right now. Thanks for the weather reports out there from everybody out across the Mid-South. Don't forget to download our weather app to where you can get weather information off the web and things like that. You should have multiple ways to get informed about severe weather. Do not just depend on tornado sirens. It's a very bad idea because, again, houses and buildings are much more better insulated than what they were about maybe 30, 40 years ago, and so it's very difficult to hear anything going on outside unless you're really, really listening for it. So as we're talking about on here for right now, Roxy Lee, what is the best weather radio to get? Uh, I've always found the realistic brand and or the ones that are sold by Radio Shack, and they have some pretty good ones, and they still are around just online for the most part. Uh, they've got some good ones out there. Oregon. I believe Outdoors, if I'm not mistaken, and Edmund Scientific, I think, but that might be a mistake on that. There's some decent ones out there that you can get from the pocket-sized ones that you can take with you or to the desk models, which have a lot more options on it. So you do have some good opportunities for that out there. And where did it go here? Patty Stacks, where's the best place to get a weather radio? Uh, anything like a department store? Uh, anything like Walmart, anything that you're out and about for a hardware store, you'll usually see them out there. Get the ones that have the battery backup. Make certain there's ones you can plug in and get the programmable ones as well because that will allow you to make certain you focus in on whatever counties you want to and it won't be going off for every advisory every single time. It is programmable out there and that's one of the best things about it to keep you informed. So that's where I would go to. Uh, if you're going to be out and about, just to be on the safe side for right now. So, again, if you're going to be doing anything out there, I would keep a weather radio handy and charged. Keep your cell phone charged as well and ready to go just in case. I'll have more on the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll have an update on the information that we have here, which will be, again, from the Storm Prediction Center. The new updates will be coming up here within about the next two to three hours. So we'll bring you an update on this on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages. That'll be at about a quarter till 11 for this morning. And, of course, we'll take a look at weather where the troops are as well. And that'll be coming up here again in about another, say, about two and a half hours or so. And we'll keep you updated, of course, on News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the day. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Again, this is a changeable situation. You need to stay on top of what the weather is going to be doing. And again, this is not a guarantee that severe weather is going to be happening. It is the potential of severe weather that could move into the area. We're warning you about this in as calm and as direct a measured ability as we can to let you know what's going on. We do not hype the weather period, end of sentence. We present you with the weather information so you can know more about what's going on. But uh, hyping the weather, as I've been accused of by some other TV stations in town, 
does not happen, and I'll take issue with anybody who says that. We do our best to let you know what's going on, so keep attuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you advised as to what's happening throughout the course of the rest of the day today, and especially into the weekend. Questions, concerns, comments, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd love to hear from you, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online through Friday and right on in through the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining us for Weather Overtime for Friday morning.